Imagine an environment with no windows, black perspex on the walls, lit from behind with pink neon, a bathroom created by Liechtenstein, corridors lined with Warhol prints, a fusion of colour. It was a very sexy space. It was designed for having fun, and I think that's something that's truly lovely about the collection. I think the greatest collectors in the world assembling objects to create a fusion, buying an outstanding piece of art deco, furniture, a masterwork, bringing that together with something made of acrylic, a piece of pop art, I mean that's a fabulous fusion and I think it's a very brave way of collecting, it's a very brave way of acquiring objects. This collection is very representative of the taste of the collectors of the 70s who rediscovered the arts of the beginning of the 20th century from the Art Nouveau period and the 30s and trying to mix it with creation of their time in the 70s. A desk by Louis Majorel. It's an important piece called Aux Orchidées with Orchids. Louis Majorel was one of the creators of this Art Nouveau style which in France at the beginning of the 20th century reintroduce lines inspired by nature and flowers in the design of furniture. This sofa has been designed for the first time in 1922-1923. We can really say that Holman invented the modern sofa with very round shapes, very warm atmosphere like a cocoon. One of my favourite pieces in the collection is a very playful bust of Bridget Bardot. Bridget Bardot was selected as the first official representation of Marianne. Marianne, the great French symbol of liberty, freedom, symbol that we often think of Delacroix's great painting in the Louvre from 1830 of liberty storming Bastille barricades. An iconic symbol matched with iconic French beauty. And you can see and totally understand why Gunter Sachs would have absolutely adored it and has insisted on having one of those busts in his own collection.